tools or on the Google homepage. I am signed in and now we are going to work on Picasa. Picasa is Google's tool for storing photos on the cloud and sharing them. Google Drive is for documents, although you can store images on it. Picasa is specifically for photos and videos. There are two versions of Picasa. One version you download onto your computer, the other version you access on the internet. To download Picasa, you can simply type Picasa, P-I-C-A-S-A. -A. You'll see here Picasa Web Albums, that's the online version. And down here you see Picasa Download, that's the offline version on your computer. I'm just going to click this Picasa link, the first one that comes up. And it says download Picasa. That's to get the offline version. When you click download Picasa, you will see a little thing on your taskbar here, or it might appear over here in your start menu, or if you hit all programs, you might find it here. I'm not sure where you have your downloads set to be stored. Right here is my Picasa. And that is your Picasa on your computer after you download it. And the Picasa on your computer, I'm going off the internet now onto my computer. I've opened Picasa. And every time you open it, it will search your computer and suck in any new images. I have tons of images on here. I also have videos up here. You can show only movies, or you can show um, only this folder, or only this folder, or only this folder. Every time you upload, it puts it in a new folder. Mine aren't very well organized, but you can organize them however you like. These are all your photos. Over here, it's searching my computer and sucking up any photos on my computer that it sees. Okay, so this is the offline version. Okay, I'm going to close the offline version. The offline version you will get when you hit download Picasa. And when you download it, it will automatically import every picture on your computer into the offline version of Picasa. But it is not saved to the cloud yet. To save it to the cloud, you have to upload those pictures. I'm going to open Picasa again. Here are the pictures. I can put, this is an album of videos, this sync to web. I can turn it off. Disable sync. And now any pictures in this album will not be synced up to the web account. If I turn it on, sync. It will automatically upload any new pictures that are imported automatically without me doing anything. Some albums I have it set to sync to the web. Some albums are not set to sync to the web. Because it, if you have a slow internet connection, it can slow down your internet connection. But if you leave your computer on at night and you just turn them all to sync to the web, they'll do it while you're sleeping and it'll be done in the morning. So this is how you get them from your Picasa offline to your Picasa online. You just click sync to the web. Hit sync. Enable sync, and now it's syncing all these up to the web, or uploading them to the web album. Okay, I'm going to close this offline version. I'm going to go back to the internet. Okay, remember, we started on Google, and 
if you don't have Picasa on your computer at home, you're going to go home and you're going to type Picasa. You're going to click the Picasa link right here, picasa.google.com. And you're going to download Picasa. Once you've downloaded it, you can go to Picasa Web albums. That is the online version of Picasa. I'm going to click Picasa Web Albums. And I have all these photos on my Picasa Web Albums. I can view them all. This is just some of them. View all of them. These are all my photos on the Picasa Web Album. Now I have a public gallery that anyone can see. I also have I'll go to my photos up here. I also have an unlisted gallery that only I can see. Now how do I make something private or public? Well if I click this is an album with two photos in it, an album with five photos in it. Let's click an album with seven photos in it. This album has seven photos in it. I can print. I can order prints. I can change the cover of the album, the name of the album, put um, captions. I could download these pictures to my desktop Picasso if they're not on there. I can print them. I can make a collage, make a movie, a lot of stuff you can do. I can add photos to this album. I can share this album on Google+. Plus. I can see a slideshow of this album. Over here, I can enter an album description. This album is limited. Only people with the link can see it. But if I edit that, I can change it to only I can see it or public on the web. I'm going to make it only me. Now see if I do that and someone used this in a post on their blog or in a comment, that post or blog comment will disappear. So now I'm worried. I'm going to say anyone with the link. If I want to link to this album, I could send this in an email and show it to a family member or a friend and show them all the pictures in this album. I can embed this album into a website. Um, I can post it to Blogger, this whole album. You can do lots of stuff here. If I go to Organize, I can sort the photos by the date, sort the photos by the file name. I can copy photos, lots of stuff. I can upload photos. If I hit upload, it says drag photos here. If I make this a little bit smaller, I could grab photos and drag them into here to upload them. Let's see if I have a photo on my desktop. I don't think I do. Here's some pictures. Here's a picture of me. I'll drag it over here. Drag it over there. And now it just uploaded that picture up to the cloud, to that album. I'll hit OK. Now I'll maximize this window again. I can also Go back to Picasso Web Albums. Remember, whenever you click the title, it goes back to the home page. Now, you might say, okay, the, the, the photos are on my camera. How do I get them into my computer? What you do is you plug your camera into your computer. And... When you plug your camera into your computer, Picasa
the one on your hard drive that you downloaded will import them. This is import. This is the Picasso that's on my desktop. And it'll say import from what? Right now I have nothing plugged in, but if I had plugged in a camera, it would say import from. I click here and I choose the camera that's plugged in and it would import all those pictures. That's, it's that simple. And they would be, when you're done, they would be in your Picasso library. They would all appear in here. And then you say sync to the web, and they go up to your web albums. Down here on the bottom, there are ways to email photos, print photos, export photos. You can create a poster, a collage, a screensaver, a GIF CD, a movie. You can publish it to Blogger. You can edit pictures. You can choose faces so that the Picasso program recognizes who is in each picture and organizes them by faces. You can edit your folders, you know, rearrange the photo, the folders, the pictures in the folders, the view, normal thumbnails, small thumbnails. You can look at a, a timeline of when the photos were taken. You can have captions underneath each one. My captions are the file name, but you could also put tags like the names of the people in the photos. Lots of stuff. Over here on edit, these are to copy the photos and paste them. File, you can import from a camera. You can add a file on your computer to your Picasso album. Lots of stuff here. When you play with it, questions will come up. Ask me, esljkc at gmail.com, and I will answer them as soon as I can. But first thing for you to do when you go home is to go on your computer, go on the internet, go to Picasa, and download Picasa. Once again, I'm going to go through it. You go home, you sign in, you type Picasa, you click Picasa, and you download Picasa. And that's how you start. I hope you learned something. Email me with questions, esljkc at gmail.com.